Welcome to episode one of Northern Soul Outdoors. As you know, uh, Northern Soul is a magazine that covers many aspects of the North, including theatre, film, television, food, and so on. Um, but one of the greater glories of the North is its landscape, which we have around here and behind me. And hopefully, in these short films, we're going to be highlighting the glories of the northern landscape. We've got areas like the Yorkshire Dales, the Lake District, the Peak District, the North York Moors. And it's going to be doing a small walk in the area and just highlighting some features on that walk. And this is a, an indication of the route that we're going to be taking. So just got down here now to scale the force. Um, if you can see through the trees, this is it. I'm just going to make my way down this path. It's a little bit, certainly a little bit slippy and um, certainly quite wet. This is um, scale the force, just outside of Settle within the Yorkshire Dales. And it's in an area of limestone. Um, you do tend to get these fractured rockscapes and, uh, if I turn around, steep wooded valleys. But yeah, it's a lovely place to be. First time I've been here, taking a photograph and uh, see what that turns out like. In fact, this is the photograph. scale before us behind and we're just making our way up to Atamaya Cave and Victoria Cave which seem to be along this lane and uh, we're going to start making our way uphill actually from here and uh, never anticipate the thought of going I don't mind downhill but uphill gets me out of breath so the weather's clearing up as well but I've got the waterproofs in the bag just in case it starts again because it's quite a showery day it's been on and off and um, we'll see what it's like up here we're up in limestone country as you know and you can always tell when you're in limestone country because you see things like this and that is a lime kiln and what they would have done is taken the limestone from the hillside from the outcrops 
built it up in there and set fire underneath it and there's a chemical reaction uh, with the limestone I think limestone is calcium carbonate and there's a, a reaction when it's heated and it turns it into lime or um, quick lime which is used as a fertilizer on the fields and also it was used in well it still is used in mortar um, for, for buildings um, lime mortar some of you may have heard of that and um, you do see these features scattered around a lot when uh, out walking in Yorkshire if we come across any more I'll show you those as well but just making our way down to a bit of a, a valley type of arrangement but on the hillside above us I don't know if I turn around you whether you'll be able to see we've got um, Atamaya cave and lookout cave now I think Atamaya cave um, it was excavated 120 years ago or something like that and they found Roman remains and it had been inhabited and if memory serves correct in that one and it is difficult to get to I have been to it before there were remains of a Roman chariot so how they got that up there and carried it in I don't know but they are they are quite old uh, a lot of Romano British prehistory type stuff up there as well and coins and brooches and things have been found so um, we'll just keep moving on down and um, yeah see where we head to Here we are at uh, Victoria Cave, called Victoria Cave because it was discovered in the 1830s. Um, it was a story of a few men and a dog. They, they were out walking up, up this valley, as you can see behind me, and they were out walking up here and a chap called Michael Horner and had his dog with him and his dog ran off and it ran down a foxhole and it didn't come back out so he was obviously concerned about his dog and you know they say there's a fine line behind bravery or stupidity well I think this is a case of that because Michael Horner followed down the foxhole in pursuit of his dog and he did that came across this Obviously it was covered up at the time and all this material that you can see around here is excavations because once he got in there he found that there was still quite a lot of Romano British objects still lying on the floor so all this um, was dug out. He went back down to Settle, he lived in Settle which is just a few miles away and he told his boss about it his boss was Joseph Jackson and Joseph Jackson was quite determined and he came up here um, most nights after work and started excavating the place in the 1830s and it gained a lot of interest because they started finding old prehistoric um, jaw bones and hyena teeth and things such as this and um, all this was again around the same time as Charles Darwin coming out with his, um, with his theory of evolution so um, it became quite quite famous really quite well known and it is as it is now so we're gonna have a walk in see what it looks like but you get good views outside it anyway quite extensive so steve's already up there got sherlock sniffing around trying to find things and um come on let's go inside and see what it's like you know away oh our, my way into the cave and um, <coughs> that's what it looks like in here it's all limestone you've got water dripping through it from the, the ground above 
and there's quite a lot of it buried off. Seems that you can go quite far back in different areas and these steel barriers have just been put here just to prevent people going further. I don't think these were here the last time I came. It must be about 20 years ago, but I don't remember too much about it. I certainly didn't take any photographs. So, here we are. begun to leave um, Victoria Cave behind and make my way down from the cave and come across this. Another little cave and it uh, seems to go some way in. But the dales, with it being limestone, it gets full of things like this. It's where the rainwater works its way through the rock and over many thousands of years dissolves the, the limestone itself. So I was tempted to have a look but I think we'll crack on, shall we? Come on. Well, we've just come down the track leading from Victoria Cave and we are dropping down. Just hold on, just open this. Just got a, a gate to open and get through. Always close the gates. Or if they're open, leave them open. If they were closed, close them. Um, so we're hitting, looks like, actually looks like the road comes out of Langcliffe to Malham. Um, quite a good single track road. And heading downhill. Superb view behind over Ribblesdale. I'll just uh, spin around so you can see that. And it's, it's actually, the sky's darkening a bit. I think it's going to start raining again. You can feel it a little bit in the air. So... Um, we're just going to make our way down here. Uh, we do take a left turn and it's all downhill into Settle. And um, just going to try and get a bit of a wriggle on, really, because I don't want to get the waterproof out. I hate walking in waterproofs. It's like wearing plastic bin bags. So, probably um, see you down in Settle. Okay, see you in a moment. Well, we're just dropping down the bridleway that runs above Langcliffe and hopefully, fingers crossed, we should hit a road that takes us into the well, centre or the market square within Settle and we've now hit a tarmac road and we're still going downhill. So I presume that we've taken the right directions on the map. I think we are on the right road here. It's um, marked as Constitution Hill. And do I go left here? Do I go left or do I go right? Um, 
Hmm. Interesting. I'll tell you what, I'll take this route and hopefully I'll end up down in the, the square at the centre of town. Like a small fish and chips as well. So probably ready for a bit of lunch. Yeah, it turned out where I thought we would do, or hopes at least. And down in the market square in Settle. Just dropping down now. Be nice to take this rucksack off because there's a fair bit of weight in it. And um, get down here, grab some lunch, and then carry on. And it's all uphill from here onwards, which is not a good thing. So keep watching this space. We've just dropped down here into Settle, which is a small market town in North Yorkshire. Uh, it's on the edge of the Yorkshire Dales. Um, we've got behind us the old Naked Man Cafe, which somebody did tell me is one of the oldest cafes in the world. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Leave your comments below. Um, Settle has about 2,500 people in it, even listed in the Doomsday Book. And it's a bit of a centre, really for everything around the, the, the south, east, west of the Dales. And there's the world's smallest public art gallery, the gallery on the green. It's actually photographs and things in a telephone box or a disused telephone box. And it's a nice little place. This is a Saturday afternoon, as you can see, and it's pretty quiet. Um, <clears throat> used to be some nice antique shops seems to have gone over the years and there are a few empty premises but uh, that's no different from any other town really and we're gonna stay here have a sandwich something to drink then we'll carry on the rest of the walk had the uh, long uphill climb on the road there coming out of Settle just um, making our way back to um, the road that leads to scale before us and uh, Hopefully the car should be around this corner and um, looking forward to a sit down and change the boots. So yeah, it's not bad walking on tarmac, you can at least make some good speed up. Sometimes it can be a bit hard on the feet when you've done a bit of distance. But uh, here we are. Yeah, it's uh, the glorious countryside up here. It's just a nice day to be out as well. So um, yeah, let's keep plodding on. And <clears throat> here we are. We're just approaching the car on the final 20 meters of certainly what seems like a six mile walk, especially the climb up from Settle up the road. I can hear some motorbikes or something coming, so could be a farmer on his quad, most probably is. I was wrong. Right, have to start finding out where the keys are now. Get those car keys ready. If you've seen the camera shake, it's because my legs are a bit stiff. So, oh, the car. <laughs> anyway, this is the end of this Northern Soul episode one. It's been a good one. Hope you've enjoyed watching and see you on the next one.